we're going to be talking about a little bit of alcohol. These bad boys, this is why you shouldn't really drink when the experience is all felt not actually indulging in this shit. What am I going to make today? Yes. Let's shot it up, baby. No! No! More. Now, I'm not going to be absolutely criminal here and say that alcohol is the worst thing I've demonised. I'm just going to share my experience about not drinking alcohol and how it has affected my life in a way where it's been positive, not drinking it. Now, listen, I've just finished uni. I know the drinking, the nights out, even people who finish work and just fancy a drink, the amount of alcohol you drink night after night after night, shot after shot after shot, being hung over and all my lead, especially first year, gaining weight where I didn't really exercise much. I was just sleeping in, drinking a lot because of the party and the fun. And realistically, alcohol is, the way I feel about it now, it is a drug that is so ingrained in their society that everyone sees as it to be okay to drink every day sort of thing. So it's not sort of frowned upon. But if you smoke weed, as an example, every day, fuck me, you're the devil. It is just completely different. The way that alcohol affects you is actually worse, especially in my life. I think when I'm being back home, I don't really drink much anyway. And with fitness and the gym and stuff, it just limiting in it for the good times and those times where, you know, you want to celebrate all the fun times. It makes it worth it more sort of thing. If you do drink semi often or if you know what I mean, like don't drink all the time. I do see the absolute benefits of not drinking alcohol at all. I haven't, I've had one pint since I've been back. Bloody Peroni. Other than that, the getting up early, running, cold bath, it's been lovely. And some people might feel like that is hell. But trust me guys, to me, it makes me happy. And everyone's gotta do what they want and what they think will make them happy. To some people that is drinking every day and realistically the way I feel about it and people who drink every day, they're almost, making up for the pain or the thing that's lost in themselves we're going into real self-development spiritual stuff here where the alcohol just acts as a numbing pain for their life they're not really happy and i'm talking about just like middle-aged people who go to the pub every day or maybe they're in a bad job and they go to the pub after work every time there's them sort of people and there's also the people who live for the party the nightlife i was once this person and maybe i still am but i definitely want to limit it a lot because that leads you down a bad path. It can lead to drugs or this shit. And as you're young, you think, oh, it's fine, you know. It doesn't really affect me too much. But later down the line, you think, what the hell am I doing? You can get your weekends back by, A, not drinking that much, and B, drinking only a smaller amount. So the, the nightlife and stuff doesn't appeal to me. And most people get, especially in the UK, aggressive about you not drinking or in a way of you are alienated to us because, oh, we don't drink. But, and that's how it's so ingrained in their society. When people choose to do different paths, it confuses their brain and it gets mixed up, doesn't it? But as I said, it's really helped, you know, a schedule, running, gym, all these fitness stuff, and then doing work and stuff like this. It has helped make life a lot more happier for me and a lot more self-fulfilling. So my views on alcohol are just, I don't say to anyone to stop drinking alcohol. I'm just saying, evaluate how you feel when you're hungover and how you would feel if you didn't go out and maybe you went out sober or you didn't have as many drinks you'd feel much better but it's the habit the routine habits are hard to break and unfortunately for most people they can't break the bad habits whether that's eating takeaways or whatever but alcohol especially because of how ingrained it is if you're a funeral you drink if you're a party celebrated you drink if you are sad and lonely or you feel stressed you drink it needs sorting in my opinion just in a way of making people realize how bad it can be but it's just like anything you know in moderation i fully agree it can help and boost my out it boosts confidence and all this but what else if you were saying it boosts confidence it, it makes you happier it boosts you know the way you feel but then you have a hangover all day where you can be written off the whole day and you're sick all the time. Is that not worse than a lot of drugs in the case of how it makes you feel? And obviously people say, oh, it doesn't mess with your brain noise. You lose brains of alcohol. Now, I'm not trying to be a doctor and say, listen, don't drink alcohol because 
I'm sure I will still drink alcohol, but my mindset on it has changed a lot. And this is just for people who might be feeling like, you know, maybe the alcohol isn't all that it seems. Because realistically, when you go on enough night out, you realise majority of them are the exact same. Whether you've got a girlfriend, wherever you haven't. The lads go out to try and pull. They might do whatever they do, all the drugs. You know, Charlie gets involved, you know, down the road. Whatever comes, comes. And then you think in the morning, a lot of people are fucking, I feel like shit. Whereas, you just limited it. You might feel like, ah, I wake up in the morning and I feel like, brilliant. You know, I can actually work. Whereas on the weekend, most people are just hungover, doing nothing, doing fuck all. And I don't mean that in an aggressive way. I'm just meaning... Uh, open your eyes to the possible outside. If you can't change habit and you don't want to change habit and like you like the way your life is, that's fine. But I'm just saying, especially for me, not drinking so much really, really helps me. And I get bad hangovers. Like my day is written off afterwards. I'm sick. I'm doing. I'm just in the bin. The morning McDonald's and you feel like fucking hell. Everything I've done this week, the progress has been lost. So yeah, I think alcohol limitation. If you're having one good time a month, maybe even every two months, that better. Makes them time so much better if you're not drinking constantly and building up this tolerance. It makes tolerance like that. If I had a pint now, I'd be fucking all over the place. A topic which splits people and people who see it as someone not partaking in it, they feel aggressive because it makes them feel bad about themselves almost. So they're like, oh, you need to fucking drink, have this, have this. What do you gain realistically? You just gain a reason, validation for you damaging yourself in that way you can be so much better in life and have such a better mindset and just feel amazing and apply yourself to work health even just whatever just everyday tasks and that feeling of not feeling like shit the day afterwards because what the most people and i don't know what the percentage is but most people probably regret the amount they drank maybe not the night out but the amount they drank when they feel like shit the day afterwards so that's just my thoughts and opinions for me alcohol is significantly it's gave me good times but the, dam the effects afterwards of the day after are just horrible and I've had them too many times Chris Williamson has a really good take on this either base it off a longevity of time or within certain areas so if I'm in this area oh yeah I might have a drink or if I'm not drinking for six months I'm just not drinking in general it's a good try, and listen, it has helped me a lot. I just feel so much better about myself, like. So alcohol, is it the poison, is it the enemy? No, because everything, you could say that about everything and majority. There's always going to be these things in life. But just take a moment to think, can alcohol, is alcohol benefiting me, like, massively, or is it negatively affecting me? I feel like, especially my age now, like, the 20-year-olds, we don't drink almost every day, but it's a way where it's almost like saved in that day. Like you're saving yourself. It sounds really weird, but the middle-aged people, I feel like, they're still on that drinking every day. There is some people like my age who probably do that, but hopefully in generations to come, maybe alcohol does get a different perception on it in the self-improvement world. It's just ultimately abusing it, abusing any substance can cause long-term damage. So just be careful and just think about it. I believe alcohol has its place, but it's too over and ingrained in culture, especially the UK. And if you don't drink for a series of time, the amount of stuff you can get done, the amount of happiness that you feel, honestly, it's unbelievable. And you're not constantly almost like there's this cloud in your head. It's your life. So whatever you choose to do is your way. But don't... The one thing I would say is everyone uses these external motivators to contribute to what their actual behavior is realistically just come from yourself so i'm going to say meditate now maybe i'll stop doing that <laughs>